Well, I teased it at the top of the show because I think it is perfect for those of you who maybe were dreading Valentine's Day. Maybe you're single, you're not feeling it. Well, what's the best way to survive Valentine's Day as a single? I'm so excited to welcome to the show Amber Lee, CEO and certified matchmaker from Select Date Society. Amber, how you doing? Hey, hey, Natalie, I am doing so good. I am so excited to be here on what we call the matchmakers holiday, Valentine's Day. <laughs> I like that, you know, and again, so many couples like look forward to it, I feel like, but then there are those who really don't. So even though you are a matchmaker, let's take the reverse role. What are some tips to survive you Valentine's Day if you're single? So I always say at Select Date Society, we tell our clients to take a lighthearted approach to dating. You really wanna have fun with it and not take yourself too seriously. And I would say the same is true for Valentine's Day. You know, you don't wanna put too much weight on just one day of the year and it's a Monday for goodness sakes. <laughs> so you just have to remind yourself that your value and your self-worth does not come from if you go on a date tonight or if you get flowers today, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's just like any other day of the year. Amber, I'm curious. Um, and please, if you have, you know, more ideas and ways to share, you know, jump in and share those. But do you notice an uptick in your business around Valentine's Day that people are thinking like Valentine's Day is around the corner? Maybe I should try to go on a date and meet somebody. Do you see that? We do. February is always like a really great month for us. We have so yeah. many new matchmaking clients coming on board. But you know, it's like any other holiday. Same with New Year's. Um, right after the uh, New Year's Eve, we get flooded with requests for clients uh, to use our services as well. So I think anything that gets people thinking about, okay, I'm alone on this holiday this year, but how can I change that and make my outcome different next year gets people to really take action. And like you said, it is on a Monday. I mean, really, there's not a lot going on. We just had the weekend, folks. We just had a big weekend, in fact. So it is just a day. You know, I remember, though, back in the day when I was dating my husband, this would have been, uh, what, 12, 13 years ago, I think. You remember that awkward time where you're, like, wanting to take the relationship to the next level, but you don't know if the other person is, and now you've got social networking and that whole, like, single taken kind of vibe? What advice do you have for people who are, like, I don't know where I am in this relationship and what title we are. Yes, you have to communicate. And one thing I always tell, especially women who want to have like the talk and say like, what are we? The best thing to do is not to ask the question, but to tell him what you want in a relationship. So instead of saying, what are we? You know, what's our status? Just tell him like, hey, this is where I'm at. This is where I see this going. Are we on the same page? And I think men really respect it when you know what you want um, and you take the lead. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I also kind of did that in a, a proposal situation with my husband. I was the one that was like, are we going to do this? And it worked out. We're happily married now. So I like that taking charge of kind of things if you know what you want to do, right? Yes. Yes. And I love that you took charge in your own situation <laughs> because really we put so much pressure on men and like leave men to their own devices. And sometimes they just, you know, they don't communicate as well as we do. So sometimes you really have to take the lead. I joke. I don't know if I'd still be married, you know, a decade later. I wonder if we'd still be married if I wouldn't have had to take charge there. <laughs> yeah. Joking aside, though, you know, dating and the whole dating world has changed. And, you know, again, I, thankfully, I was married during COVID and the pandemic, but I had friends who said, you thought it was hard before to date, throw in a pandemic. Have you heard that? Did the pandemic change the way we are looking at dating even at this point now? It definitely changed the way that first dates happen. I always tell okay. people the new hot spot for a first date is the Zoom room uh, because a lot of people are dating through Zoom for the first or even second date. But I really think as matchmakers, what we've seen is the positive side, what has come out of COVID. And that's the fact that people are prioritizing relationships. So all of a sudden, you know, that swipe culture and that hookup culture that has happened in the past on dating apps, it really has kind of gone by the wayside. More and more singles are realizing like, hey, if I have to be stuck in the house for six months, I wanna be in here with my person. And they really made finding the one a priority. I like that instead of that salt swipe culture, I'm so glad I got to avoid some of that. You know, that just seems like a lot. Well, you know what, in closing again, I wanna come full circle if you will. What is that one last thing you want people to hold on to this Valentine's Day, whether they are single or maybe in an awkward place in their relationship? What do we need to keep in the back of our minds? 
I would say the best advice I can give anyone who's single is to smile. So if you are on dating apps, make sure your main picture is a picture showcasing your beautiful smile. If you're out and about running errands or working or doing whatever you do throughout the day, make sure you have a smile on your face. It sends the message that you're positive, you're approachable. Um, I met my own husband at the grocery store and I'm telling you having a smile on your face just makes it so much easier to start a conversation with a stranger. So that's my best advice if you're single and you want to find love just super simple put a smile on your face i love that i'm so glad you shared your story with us amber this has been such a fun segment stay in touch with us okay thanks natalie